What's going on guys? It is Saturday here on Vlogging Life. Not quite sure what we're gonna get up to today. I know I wanna take a look at that laptop and fix it. Guys, I've been up since 8.30 a.m. It is currently 9.40 a.m. I put on a pot of that chocolate coffee and as per always, first thing I like to do when I'm trying a new coffee is to take it straight black. Why? Because that way there you know what kind of a flavor profile you're dealing with and how it's going to taste the best. So here's a straight black coffee. Okay, I'm not getting that chocolate taste to it, but it is a dark roast. And one thing I can tell you right now is I love my dark roasts. So I'm just going to mix this up. I just add a little bit of 35% to it as well as some stevia to sweeten it. See how it is now. Oh, that's a good cup. Okay, actually when you do that, it changes the flavor. Now I can taste the chocolate bar. How's this for multitasking? Carrying my coffee and carrying my water jug while carrying you guys and closing the pantry. I need a third hand. Or I need to build like a mount that goes on my shoulder and holds the camera at my face so I can just turn it on and walk around. Still have both hands free. That'd be useful. So like I said, for today what I want to do is quite possibly look over that laptop, pop the new hard drive or solid state drive into it, Get windows back on it get it all fired up and ready to go i got two hdmi cables out in the truck why are they out in the truck they're throwing them out at work and i was like they're brand new in the bag like, why are you throwing these out they're brand new hdmi cable oh we don't need them okay that's being wasteful can i have them so i grabbed them i think there's two or three of them then they're throwing out this like 100 foot long vga cable like why are you throwing that out they're like oh we don't need it anymore it's a hundred foot long VGA cable. I'm like, well, I'll take it. I might be able to find a use for that. It's all coiled up. I'll freaking have it. So I got that out in the truck. I need to bring that in. Uh, the piece of the HDMI cable I had on the XPS 8300 got stretched and the head came out. It's no longer terminated. So I need to um, replace that cable because the one I have is bunk. Um, just trying to figure out where the heck I'm going to put that laptop downstairs because uh, not many options. And because I'm going to be using a USB dongle, to drive the uh the keyboard and mouse which reminds me i wanted to check staple oh no i got this one i might hook this one up downstairs but i don't know if the dongle i have in here actually works i should probably take a look at that pretty sure i got a dongle downstairs but the other thing is is that laptop has wireless bgn but i don't know how fast the n is so i do have that adapter that gives me ac 1200 on wi-fi and I may hook that up to the laptop just to get more jam out of it so I can get more performance. Yeah, we should be able to watch WrestleMania down there. It should be pretty sweet. Oh, guys. Just have my first cup of cafe fappe. Cafe fappe. I'm probably going to have to do groceries today, not tomorrow. Um, I discovered a problem. I don't have much creamer left. And I really love creamer in my coffee. I could drink this just straight black. It's actually not too bad straight black. Dark roast coffee is actually really tasty. Um, first time I tried it was when Hortons brought it out. And I, I really liked it. I thought it was fantastic. It has this like, I don't know if you guys get it in the States, but in Canada we get a candy bar called Coffee Crisp. And it kind of has that flavor to it, which I can appreciate. Like I got a little bit of cream left for another coffee and that's it. So that, you know what, I'm just going to use the rest of the creamer in this coffee. And the next one I'm going to do is bulletproofed because there's not much left. That's all she wrote. We're out of brick creamer, boys. All right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm bringing my coffee upstairs. I'm going to grab that laptop, flip it, open it, put the drive into it, hook it up, turn it on, install wind blows, and get it running, and then go from there. There was a store I wanted to go to, but it's on the other end of town. It's called uh, Treasure Hunt, and apparently it's like a... When a transport gets into a car accident, they can't sell the stuff at, say, like Walmart or Target or anywhere. So what they do is they put it up for an insurance claim and then sell it to the highest bidder. Well, this store buys those things, and then anything that isn't root, they sell it at a super discount. So they could pick up a whole friggin' trailer load of shit for like a couple grand and then turn around and flip it for a couple more grand. So like you're buying, like my buddy at work was like, he bought a pair of Beats headphones, which are normally pretty expensive, right? They're around like 100, 200 bucks. He literally picked up Beats headphones there for 60 bucks because they're involved in a wreck. Where's my iFixit kit? Oh, there it is. You my iFixit kit. All right, well, I'm not gonna set you guys up on a chirp pod. Instead, I'm just gonna do this. So I showed this last night. Basically, there's no screws. So I grabbed my, uh, my spatula here. I've just been going around the edges and prying. 
and it's releasing on its own free will. So this is just a clip-on plate. Very user accessible. Very easy. There we go. So we'll take that off. Let's put that off to the side here. So we got our RAM. I see two sticks in there. What are we looking at? Uh, I don't know. Let's pull it. I need two hands. So it's exactly what the ad said. That's a two gig stick. This is a four gig stick given six gigs of not dual channel because they're off par. It's going to take a performance hit, but this is just going to be an HTPC, so who cares? Wow, I can't believe a one terabyte Western digital shit the bed. Normally these are really good. See what happened was the first drive was a Seagate and it blew up and he brought it in for warranty work and Future Shop stuffed this thing into it. And then like he said three months later, like a month after the warranty was up, this drive blew up. So this was a while ago when this happened. He recently got a new laptop and that's why he's getting rid of this one. Obviously the warranty is up. So product of Malaysia. All right, hard drive's out. So basically looking around under here, there's your Wi-Fi adapter over the yonder. Your RAM, hard drive goes in there. Not quite sure what's underneath this metal plate. Looks like it's the DVD-ROM drive. Pull that pin, take it out. You can put in one of those external hard drives in there if you really cared. Like I said, home theater PC, that's all this is going to be. So this is what's going into it. Obviously, it won't see this performance because this is SATA 300, not 600. So it's not 6 gigabits per second. But we should be pretty faster than that. 5400 rpm hard drive that was in there. So let's go ahead and stab this in. Oh, hey. All right, so the SSD is installed. Uh, with this kit, the way you gotta do it is you gotta hook up the wire first and then put the SSD into the loading tray. Then you flip it and stick it. That's all there is to it. Alrighty, everything's back in. Fresh C Daisy. Gonna go ahead and button her back up, plug her in, fire it up, and uh, get Windows onto this pig. And this repair made possible by iFixit. Not sponsored, I just love their tools. All right, well it fire. Oh, well, that's a good sign. No bootable device, yay! I got most of this Future Shop service tag off, but guys, honestly, if I ever brought a laptop into Future Shop or Best Buy to get it serviced and they stuck a sticker like this on the back of it, I would lose my freaking cool and I wouldn't pay for the repair. I would lose it on them. What are you doing tagging my stuff? I hate stickers on laptops. Remember when I worked on Rex's and I made fun of it? That's because, just because, this is a huge flat panel. Doesn't mean you gotta litter it with freaking stickers. Well, I got the sticker off, but you can still see the glue residue. I'm gonna show you guys a quick trick for taking that off. All right guys, what you wanna do is you wanna get yourself a can of WD-40. A lot of you probably have this stuff on hand. You know, for things that shouldn't move and do, you use duct tape. For things that do move and shouldn't, no, shouldn't move. Uh, things that should move and don't, you use WD-40. So basically this here has a lot of other purposes. You can clean your toilet with this. It'll take all the calcium deposits off if you're like me and you, you don't flush every time you piss. Uh, and another cool thing is you can use this to take price tags off of your Christmas gifts and it gives it that delicious, I'm a mechanic smell. Allow me to demonstrate. What you're gonna do, get yourself a piece of kitchen towel here, a paper towel, fold her in half. This is hard to do while holding a camera, let me tell you. You're gonna take your WD-40, you're gonna spray some on the kitchen towel. Really saturate it up. Then you're gonna take your kitchen towel, and you can see that little residue. You're just gonna rub it on. And it's gonna break the bond of the glue and it's gonna come off. It's also gonna take all the rest of the smut off this laptop because Jesus Murphy, she's been sitting somewhere where the dirt got to it. It's gonna give it that delicious I'm a mechanics laptop smell. Give it a nice oily gloss finish so it looks brand new again. Don't worry, that'll evaporate, but when it does, you're not gonna see that residue of the glue anymore. It's gonna be sweet. And there we go, glue residue gone. Gave it a little detail for retail, even though I don't plan on selling it, I'm going to be using it. It's going to become the new computer for playing TV shows downstairs. Look, there's me holding the camera! Alrighty people, we are getting the files ready to install for Windows 7. I do not want to put Windows 10 on this computer, because she's so old there's probably no driver support. And I was actually wrong on the specs for this computer. It's um... A 1.9 gigahertz. 
turbo boost to like 2.6 uh, quad core not sure what the graphics are once we get it up and going we'll jump into the device mangler and see exactly what it is but apparently this is the upped version of the one I showed you guys so we'll have a gander see Wow, was I ever off on the RAM, guys. It's only two gigs of RAM, but it could be associating some of that to the video card. It's an AMD 3530MX APU graphics, 1.9 gigahertz, two gigs of RAM, 64-bit OS, and I called it HTPC2 because the Acer is HTPC. Now, as you can see, I got my work cut out for me. I got a lot of stuff to install, so let's get after it. Yay, driver installs. I'm spending way too much time trying to get this Wi-Fi driver to work. Problem is, is Hewlett Packard stupid like every other freaking manufacturer? You know, they release their laptops and they offer like 25 different versions of Wi-Fi for it. And all of it's garbage. So why not just make one card? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up this guy. Which is a... I have no idea what brand. D-Link some friggin thing we're gonna set this pig up on that laptop and we're gonna get some 80211 ac and that way there we'll be cooking with fire so let's get this pig installed 1200 megabit per second friggin network access going up in this butt. hammer down at first i was like why am i only getting 77 megabits a second then i realized i was connecting to the wrong network now we're on the AC network, but I'm limited by the USB's capability. So we got everything pretty much rocking the way I want it to. All we gotta do now is go out to the truck, get an HDMI cable come into the house, hook up said HDMI cable to the TV and into the laptop, and we have ourselves a home theater PC again. All right, I just came down to grab the rest of my coffee. I'm just gonna drink this black, because I don't really have anything to put in it because I'm out of creamer. Probably gonna head out soon. I'm gonna go downtown. By downtown, I mean down on the other end of town and check out that uh, treasure hunt store. All the reviews I read on it said literally nothing is organized. Just walk through the aisles and keep your head on a swivel and you could find a good treasure. But as for this pig, it's set up and good to go. Look at this glow in the dark touchpad. I'm gonna shut her down and when we get back from treasure hunt, we'll uh, set this beast up downstairs. Ready to rock. That moment when I know I have four gigs of RAM kicking around somewhere because I upgraded the Acer, uh, my little friggin' 12 inch Acer to eight gigs of RAM back in the day. And originally I had four gigs of RAM, but you think I can find it? I'd really love to know where it is because if I stuff four gigs of RAM into that computer, it would definitely make it fly. I'm gonna check the drawer in here. No, it's not in that drawer. Yeah, four gigs of RAM would give it more kick because right now when you're watching YouTube on it, when you go to full screen, she kind of sputter stutters. And then when you come out of full screen, she sputter stutters. But only when going on YouTube. Anything else, it works fine. And I know when I took the RAM out, I put it in one of the anti-static bags that I had. It's probably in here. Well, I didn't find the RAM, but I did find my pivot heads. So I got them charging right now. See if they explode or work. I'm going to head off to the mall, or as I like to call it, the dirt mall. Because, uh... It's not exactly as cool as the mall at my house, it's on the other end of town. Then afterwards I'm heading over to my friend Amanda's house. I haven't seen her since like October last year, or maybe November. There's snow on the ground anyway. So I'm gonna hang out there, have a coffee, chillax for a bit, shoot the shit. So let's go to the dirt mall and we'll see what we can find at that treasures place. Just making a day of today, boys. Making a day of today. Tell you what, I'll film the drive down there because that's fun. That's a long hoot. Long hoot, nanny. Sure is a friggin' beaut of a day out today, boys. Too bad my pathway's gotta be littered with dog shit. Figure we can go down there, get the stuff, go hang out for a bit with my friend. On the way back, hit up the grocery store, scoop up some nonsense. We'll go to Food Basics, mainly because I got gift cards for there. Oh man, I left the friggin' doors unlocked. I'm an idiot. But nothing got stolen, so. Scores for me. All right, let's get you guys up on the tripod. I don't know why I call it a tripod. There's isn't three pegs on it. And then uh, let's skittle douche off to the place. I honestly don't know when the hell this place became the place to be or whoever painted these lines why they sucked at painting because honestly, where I parked my truck, 
I can't even get out. But for some reason, the dirt mall is super busy. I don't never understand why. All right, guys, just leaving the mall now. That store is lame. I'm gonna be honest with you. Just nothing but garbage there. 90% of it's already broken. And like they had shoes. I was looking at running shoes because, you know, it'd be nice in the summer on weekends to not put on the good shoes. Just toss on a pair of Adidas and roll, but they're like 14 bucks and half of them already have holes in them. I can do that myself. Anyway, let's get in the truck. That's quite the combo. Bed sheets and e-bikes, boys. Alrighty, down here at the grocery store. Gonna go pick up some noms. Alright guys, I just got in, went to a friend's house, had some coffee, chatted, caught up, and it's about quarter after five. When I was at the mall, I decided to have a buddy burger at A&W, and I, uh, I should have filmed it, but there's a lot of people in the food court, and I felt like a goof pulling up my camera, filming my food. But I asked them if they could let us wrap it, and they did. But I went and bought some food for, some for tonight, some for tomorrow's Wrestlemania. For my beverage tomorrow, I'm gonna have Coke Zero. I haven't had that in a while. That should shock the Kardashian clock into getting back into sync. Really throw off the balance of power. Bought some more whipping cream for my coffee, because everybody knows I love my whipping cream in my coffee. Even though I can't drink it black. Bought some avocados, because I just love eating these damn things. Also bought some more of this uh, low carbohydrate salsa for the, for the tacos tomorrow night. Toss this down here. And for another snack for tomorrow night, got some pepperonis. That'll be pretty good. For the tacos, I wanted some leafy stuff, so I bought some spinach. It's gonna be a weird taco. Spinach, cheese. And because those steaks are pathetic, they had this on sale for like eight bucks. Great big old friggin' log of beef. So we're gonna do this up in taco seasoning. I'm just gonna toss that right on top of the spinach. Also bought some old old cheddar. So we're gonna shred that up for the tacos. I'm telling you boys, I'm gung-ho for making tacos tomorrow. It's gonna happen. Bought myself a salad for tonight. I bought some pre-made taco seasoning. It's got about two grams of carbs per one-sixth of a pack. It's gonna be a little bit higher on the carbohydrate, but I need to do this. And I got myself some pork rinds for tomorrow night. So we're gonna have pork rinds, pepperoni, and tacos for WrestleMania. Oh yeah, while I was out in the truck, I grabbed one of those uh, HDMI cables. I don't know how long it is. Probably around four feet. Should be enough to do what I want to do. So I'm gonna throw this salad in the fridge. I'm not ready to eat yet. I'll just sit it on top of the steaks. And we are good to go. Oh, uh, when I was at that store. Oh yeah, I mentioned I was gonna film the drive down. I don't know what happened. Uh, halfway down, I looked over at the camera and it was turned off. So at some point in time, the camera just turned itself off. I don't know, whatever. But yeah, when I was at that store, guys, it was pathetic. It was like walking into a department store, but everything was everywhere. And I was like, well, maybe I'll take a look at running shoes. So I go over and I find a pair of Nikes, no size written on them, anywhere. So I don't know what size they are. I need a size 12. So I was like, oh, I look at them, there's holes in them. And they're selling them for $14. I'm like, Jesus, Murphy, why would somebody buy somebody else's used clothes? Like, don't they expect, inspect this shit before it goes out? Then they had like Keurigs and stuff that were like half there going for 40 bucks. Murphy. Then my friend tells me basically what happens with that store is a lot of people go on there shopping and they'll buy stuff and then they'll pen it out on the uh, the dollar auctions on Facebook. Try and make some coin. I'm telling you man, there's better ways to make coin. Anyway, I need to de-wick this thing and clean it. I got some new juice while I was out. Um, these two bottles, each of them, 30 bucks. They're 100 mils. Went to the vape shop down at the mall. I usually don't go there, but this time I did. I'm kind of eager to try these. So, I'm gonna leave that cable down here. I'm gonna get my dart cleaned out. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. So, Joss is currently working on some computers doing IT shit, and she ran into a snag. One of the systems will not boot. It loads the Asus splash screen and then boot loops back to the Asus splash screen. Not sure what the hell's going on. She wants me to go over, but holy crap, am I ever tired, guys? I don't want to set up this laptop. Let's pitter patter. Okay, I got it on the TV, but there's a problem. Problem is the keyboard's dead as frig. Get your toy. Get your toy. Move. Grab it, move. Pull it away. Come on, take it. So this thing here, I'm gonna need to take it out and fix it. But I gotta let that keyboard charge before I can even consider restarting Windows. And resizing the screen. So, that's a thing. But it worked, so sweet. What I did was I stuffed it down here. I'm um, just, I got the charging cable kind of sitting out. But it's down there, 
and sitting there. It was hot in there because the PlayStation 4 was just running. I don't know why that thing just keeps turning itself on on its own. I'm just going to disconnect it. Anyway, I'm hungry. So I'm going to get some food cooking right now. We're going to do some salad and steaks. Um, I'm going to cook both those steaks tonight because they're going bad. And I don't want to waste food. Because like I said before, millions of kid, ki millions of kid. Holy Adam, learn English. Millions of kids in Africa are starving. So we'll give that about 10 minutes. We'll let the keyboard charge up. We'll have dinner. Then we'll come downstairs and check on everything. Make sure it's all copacetic. All right, guys. My dinner should be ready. That keyboard should be charged up enough right now to do a restart, but... Man, why can't this cat not attack everything I own? Like, I gotta, like, hide stuff so she doesn't beat it up. All right, I need to get that steak on a plate. Get these paper towels in the cupboard. All right, let's get this food on a plate and get that salad tossed. Alrighty guys, for dinner tonight, we're having 340 grams of steak and a taco salad. Drive it in my face. Alright guys, I had my dinner a while ago. I've been working a knot in my shoulder. I put some of that stuff for pain on it. I can't get the damn thing to break. I've used my shiatsu pillow on multiple angles. It just won't go. So, like, I fix this couch and she messes it up. This keyboard should be nice and charged. Let's fire up the television. See if we can get this damn thing to work any day now. <sighs> I hate how long it takes this TV to turn on. But it was cheap, so can't complain. I muted the audio for safety purposes, but it's working. We got video down here now, boys. Frig yeah. Sitting here watching Neebs and this is happening. friggin' dog. I just realized this computer has a 6750 and a 6620 and my dog is really close to me right now. He's trying to climb on top of me. He's trying to like get on my lap. Okay, you gotta go lay down. Jesus. Oh, lay you're so needy. But guys, we're good. We're good. I just watched uh, Neves Gaming here and everything worked out fine. No stutters, no freezing, no nothing. If I ever do find that RAM, I'll probably upgrade that computer. But other than that, I think we're good. So for tomorrow night, I'm either going to set up the old Dell or the new Dell down here just so I have a computer to play on while I'm watching wrestling. Because I like to have a computer to figure out on, chat on Facebook and all that. I think I'm just going to grab my old Dell and do that. So that's going to be the plan for tomorrow. But as for tonight, guys, I'm going to shut this video down, get it all edited up. Even though it is only 8.45 p.m. I only got about four hours of sleep last night because my body, for some reason, can't sleep in past 8.30 ever. So I'm probably going to get an early start on sleeping. For tomorrow, like I said, we're making tacos, keto tacos. Uh, hopefully they work out. If not, I guess we're going to bins and bins and buying some shells because I'm having freaking tacos tomorrow. So that is the, bla ba ba the battle plan there. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, click the like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.